everybody, Anne here, just sitting here on my porch having coffee with all of you. Do y'all ever get tired of hearing me say that? <laughs> well, yesterday was a totally amazing day, and before the end of the day, I had received one more package. Okay, it's still the same day that I got all of that other stuff, but that video was way too long, and it's like... I don't know, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., and FedEx comes speeding up my drive, and the dude pulls up, and he gives me this long story about he couldn't find my address and whatnot, but I got more Prezzies. Check this out. This one, this came from Target, and <sighs> someone is looking out for me. Dog food. This is going to be delicious. I usually get the cheap stuff for Betty, but she got me. And this this came from Connie. This came from Connie. Connie, I love you, girl. I swear. I don't know what to say. And look at this canned dog food. She is going to feel like she is in heaven. Oh, my goodness. And check this out. Now, Target knows how to ship this stuff because check it. Not a single drop spilled. I got another thing of this Tide um, free organic, whatever you call it, plant based detergent. So I'm going to have fresh, clean clothes and I'm going to be able to reuse the water and it's not going to harm my plants. So, oh my gosh. There it is, guys. Isn't it cute? Isn't it adorable? I love it. I love it. All right. This little, little tiny chicken coop thing is not completely finished. I still have to put, there's a wood thing that I need to put over the top and I need to secure that down. Also, I have some little hinges that keep this little run thing um, attached to the coop. I need to put those on. And also, since I have not fully decided where I'm going to put this and how I'm going to do it, this... I don't know if you can see down there, there's a screen blocking the entrance to this door. I have just butted it right up against it, and this is actually the opening in the chicken run that it fits perfectly. So I'm not going to modify this box yet until I'm 100% sure this is how I want it, because what I'll have to do, I'll have to get down in there and take off the screen off of that wall so chickens can go in and out. Um, but I just want to kind of show you a little bit. Uh, there's a little ramp down in there, isn't that cute? And a little door. And the reason why I pulled it all the way over here is because over there, there seemed to be just a little bit more slant and so that the door would come, come closed. So I may still, you know, figure out a way to, you know, attach that with a, like a little wire or something to keep it open when I want to keep it open. But... It's got two little doors that open. Oops, I gotta get it up right. See, they open, and one is enclosed in, and the other has the little wire meshing on it. And you can see the little tray down below. And there's a little area underneath that doesn't have a whole lot of room, but they can walk around down there if they want to all the way around and then this is what the back of it looks like so the tray let's see how does the tray pull out does the tra tray pull out where does it pull out I think it pulls out from right here yeah you just pull it out from right there and then this opens up both sides so I can get in there and hopefully if they've got eggs get the eggs out so that'll all be finished up today. Um, oh, and also there are some hinges that I have to put attached to this so that it stays open when you open it up. So, yep, there it is. Yeah, somebody had mentioned that the chicken wire is not going to be enough. Um, I've just got this up here now because it's all I had. I may have to reinforce it later with something more substantial. Um, someone had also mentioned that that little roost thingy uh, may not work because the chickens will slip off of it. Um, I totally agree. In fact, I had already, ugh, I can't talk, I'm, I'm trying to talk too fast. I had already thought about modifying this slightly. So um, I'll let you see that when I do it. But there's a door and there's also a door over there. And then eventually what I would like to do is fence off this entire area. 
so that the chickens can get out during the day. But that, that will come later. Um, I just want to get this part absolutely perfectly good first. So there it is. I love it. I absolutely love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And yeah, I did pull it a little bit further over this way. And that is way too close to the fire pit. So I'm going to just have to move this completely somewhere else. I don't even know. I don't even care. I hardly ever use it anymore. Anyhow, um, I may burn a little trash on it, but even that I'm kind of, I don't know. Um, it's just a mess. It just makes a mess when you burn the trash. So there it is, you guys. Isn't that so cool? I just love it, love it, love it. So I don't know. I figure maybe a couple chickens, maybe two, three, maybe four tops. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't want to start real big, to be honest with you. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anyhow, thank you so much, Donna, for getting me this beautiful, beautiful little wooden coop. I love it. It is adorable. Well, I've got about a half a billion other things I need to do today. I want to see if I can get that screen door on. I want to place those lights at various places. I need to work on those garden beds. Lots and lots to do. So, well, I guess I better just get to it then, yeah? <laughs> Phew! I got the other two garden beds done. Hooray! I'm glad. Man, that was a lot of work. I gathered all the leaves and each one of these took like well, this one took like eight buckets of leaves, and that one over there, I think it took like six, and the hummus and manure and soil and whatnot. So those are all done, ready to plant, but I'm not going to plant for a few more days because I don't know if it's this week or next week we're going to drop down pretty cold. In fact, last night was really cold, and I got to tell you, these watermelon here in front they were wilted this morning. Everything else looked fine, but these were totally wilted, so I came out and watered them, and they seemed to be okay. A few other plants were kind of wilted today, too. This Japanese eggplant, I wish I would have captured footage of it, but I didn't. This, this plant was totally, totally wilted, and I thought for sure it was dead. I mean, the leaves were sticking together, so I watered that, too, and as you can see, it has perked up, so I'm really relieved. This garden bed looks fine now, but I tell you what, this morning, hoo, 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 all of the cucumbers were wilted, the leaves were sticking together. I felt for sure that they had died. Because, you know what, I think it only got down to like 40 last night, but it just felt really cold. So I watered all of these today too, and as you can see, they have perked right back up. There's a couple empty spots because I pulled some out and gave some away. Yeah, a couple of the beans too, and I did that down on the other two beds as well. But um, everything else survived just fine, and I tell you what, it's going to be getting down to 36, between 36 and 38. I don't know what days it is, but I'm going to I'm going to make sure that I know which days it is, and I'm covering up all these plants. I am covering every single one of them up, and I have separated these things because I've noticed that. Not all the plants are getting sun all the time, even though I turn it, this planter is just not working out. So I'm going to transplant all of these into these little planters here. Um, I'm going to wait till they get just a little bit bigger and just basically scoop them up and put them down in there. Of course, there, this is going to need more soil and whatnot, uh, soil and whatever else I want to put down in there, but uh, things are looking okay. I did get a few of the solar lights put out, just a few in the front here, and I didn't know at first, but they're different colors. There's white, there's like yellowish, there's, I think there's green, I think there's red, and I think there's blue. So out front is going to be all white and yellow, and then I'm going to have to kind of figure out where I'm going to put the rest. I don't know. It's going to be colorful and Anne's tiny life. Love it. So let's see, I got the chicken coops kind of situated, I got the plants watered, I got the two garden beds down by the street all finished, I put some pretty lights out front, and I am beat. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot for me. So I'm just going to take the rest of the day off and kind of chill out, make a nice dinner, and well, see what tomorrow brings. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.